understood that, that in Ohio that, that Latinos that had PhDs or master's degree, you know, were not very much interested in Chicano studies because they, they didn't want to put the career mm. on the line. You know? I transferred here from a community college along with uh, a few uh, other Chicano students who uh, eventually would be part of the formation of the student group here. I came in in uh, actually the summer of 1969. The name of the organization was United Mexican American Students, UMAS. The thing that happened in 1967 that was most influential were the walkouts, the East LA walkouts. I, I came from Ohio. And I had been at, at Cathedral High School since 1959. I am still a student at the university there um, in Ohio. And on the news, I, I could read a lot about, we were reading a lot about what was happening in Los Angeles. So uh, here I've been fishing there for but in over years and I said, what am I doing here? In those years we're talking about, you know, recruiting more students, get more Chicano students on this campus. How are we gonna do it? You know, eventually this uh, EOP idea starts to develop. You know, we realize that bringing the students is just was one thing, but the, uh, the other thing is what are they gonna study here? Well, how are they gonna survive? How are they gonna keep uh, an identity of being a Chicano? We began to make changes in that high school. That just desperately needed a uh, extreme makeover, I guess. So we start to see that we don't have a curriculum really here that's, that can, that relates to Chicago. So I wrote a letter to Julian Nava, who was the board member of the Unified School District at that time, and I told him that I was interested in moving to the center. The first thing we did was to get rid of the student manual because it said how long your hair had to be. Mm -hmm. what kind of shirt you have to wear. And so we said to help a lot of them. In January of uh, 69, we uh, had a scheduled uh, rally, and it culminated in the uh, arrest of about um, 360 students, something like that. We had a retreat for the student leaders. We decided then and there what we were going to do with this high school. So out of that came what is called the 12-point and in that 12-point agreement was the establishment, one of the points were the establishment of the Mexican American Studies Department. We were really powerful. I don't think we knew it then, mm -hmm. but we behaved as if whatever we said we were going to, we were going to do that. A couple of months later, they hired Rudy Acuna to come on campus, start to develop the curriculum, not even teach, and develop the major, and start to uh, interview some potential candidates that would be faculty. We came here, all of us, our faculty was because uh, we wanted to make a difference to our community. I came in 1966, long time ago. Next year, next September, I will have walked on these grounds for 40 years. Wow. I was a toddler when I started. Of course. <laughs>